<laughs> it barely fits in the uh, screen. I had a company contact me called Bodega Coolers. They make coolers, and they sent me a TW55 59 quart uh, cooler, 12 volt. So I can put it, uh oh, in my wagon. I gotta figure out how to work my light, but that's just part of the game. <laughs> Wait right there. And I want to take it out and show you. Look how big this beast is. It's a bodacious bodega. Here comes one of those. There's nothing worse than an unboxing video. You grab the other handle. I got my child here, helping Alabama. You do the same thing over there. All right. I hit split. I know. Hold That's on. the cargo over there. There you go. That is a bodacious bodega. I was struggling to find the, uh, the reason I kind of ended that last little clip quickly. I was, in, I was struggling to find the box says TW55. The model on here says TW35. So I looked it up, TW35 has a uh, regular LG compressor and a detachable battery. It's pretty neat. It's a, uh, let me find it, 35 liters. Pretty cool, huh? So we'll get it plugged up and see how it does. These things are quite expensive, but the sweet thing about it is you can pair it with your phone and you can tune a fish. But you can't tune a mandarin. And right here, gives the operating temperature controls, and we'll have to go back into the manual and see how to pair it with the phone. Cats love it. And that's what's important. Side note, if you're not gonna plug this up into a 12 volt system like in the bed of my, uh, my wagon, which is a Tacoma, which is already plugged and wired and plumbed and bobbed and all that, then you need to order the battery. The battery is actually a separate purchase. Those are your glasses. They say that's a pair of glasses, but it's only one. And then you'll put it in there. That's Meekum Auto Auctions in the background. Something else that's cool about it is the door actually, hop down, pops off and you can flip it around and put it over on this side depending on how you want it and the reason you'd need that is because of the plug like the plug if i put that in the back of my wagon i'll need it like that so i would want the door flipped around i don't know let's press on with this amazing review now that the storms tornadoes have passed i thought you deserved a better outside look with a lot more light there it is and then I want to see what it looks like I mean you all know how a refrigerator look works you sit it somewhere you plug it in and it works but what you want to know is how big is it how heavy is it isn't that the most satisfying thing in the world I had to pair it with a phone Although I don't know why you'd want to pair your refrigerator with a phone. I paired, uh, never mind. This is the empty back. Almost empty. Here, go get that for me. I can't reach it. Thanks. This is the near empty back of a 2017 short bed to come.
coma. That's all you need right there for a lifetime of fun. Oh, and these. Oh, one of these. Everybody needs that. Now mine, since it's me talking, goes in here. This is where it plugs up. Supposedly. I can't reach it. I need a shorter arm. Supposedly it plugs up right there. So the question is, how much room is it going to take up in here? I mean, do you really want need one that big? You don't know. I don't know. I went and grabbed the book, but as with any uh, refrigerator or freezer or anything, you need to let it sit a while before you just grab it and plug it in. Now, this one's been sitting all night because they're full of fluid in the compartments and there might be compressed <laughs> compressor oil. Everything needs to settle. That's the bottom line. So let's get a good outdoor look at this. Quality. Is it quality? Let's see. I want to know as well as you want to know. That screw is in a little jaggedy. This product of product of product of to be standstill at least for six hours before you see. This product of to be standstill at least for six hours before you see. Okay, we know that. So we will need this apparatus goes in one side. This apparatus goes on the other side. But what I don't know is do you plug in this one in here or this one in here and the other one goes in over there, of course. Nobody knows. So that's why you move the little brown box. And you just pretend like you know what that is. I'm not one, I'm not even two to read directions, but I think we'll look just to make sure. Okay, it looks good to me. So let's plug this in. Here's what I do know. I could potentially plug it in there, but then I won't be able to plug it in here. Because it's the same plug on both ends. I mean, if I put that in there, that's all fine and dandy. But when I take this, stick this in there, then it's got a uh, regular plug on the other end. Or I could take this and stick it in there and plug it in a lighter. Oh wait, I got one of those up there. We'll choose that option to see what happens. So this is for your 14.5 volt 140. Take this, plug it in there if you have one. If you don't, get one. Stretch your cord out and take it, bring it over here and plug it in. I heard a sound. I was hoping this thing would play in the ghetto by Elvis Rowan plugged it up, but it doesn't appear to do that. Okay, it's on. Here's the bottom line. Here's what everybody wants to know. I'm not gonna assume everybody's an imbecile. There's the directions. Oh, there's your Bluetooth plug in case you want a Bluetooth to your, uh, here are the frogs. It's running, listen. Comes with a cutting board. So let's assume you were going to get this. Of course, you want to do your wiring the way you want to do it. That's how much room it takes up in the back. It's pretty big for my liking. So, I want to, to prevent water damage, close the cover immediately after using the USB. My bad, that's a USB. That's not your Bluetooth. Learn your symbols, dude. Okay, don't get mad about it. Short press power to turn on, long press to turn off. Press up to change temp, press down to do the other temp. It's 43 degrees. Oh wait, because uh, first press, later press this, press R to turn the power, then you can adjust temperature. Press the gear one more time to switch to max or economical. 
press one time to switch to max echo. Let's turn it off. Long press. That's off. Um, I'm going to leave it in here and see if it gets cool. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I just don't know if that joker right there will drain your battery. I pretty much think it will. I really do think it will. But I don't know how to know other than waiting on your battery to drain. That's about all the review you're going to get on this thing. It's a refrigerator and a freezer. I'm about to drive to town. If I don't make it back and the battery dies, I'll let you know. Because it'll be me standing out here with a, a little jumper box jumping on my truck, which I don't want to do. Well, let's play make believe real quick before I do this. Pretend like it's nighttime and you go, Oh, honey, I can't see anything in my cooler. Baby, give me a flashlight. Well, baby, that thing's got the LEDs up there now. Raise the lid. Thanks, honey. Baby, that's dark. Give me a flashlight. I can't see anything in this cooler. I don't know what I'm doing. I got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, sweetie, you're such a stupid guy. Raise the lid. It's got LEDs in it. Oh, thanks, Sugar Plum. Let's go to town. Truck crank, first part. So I showed my brother the refrigerator, and she said, Oh, cool. I don't know if that was, I don't know if it's like sarcastic or what. Yeah, it's cool. It's supposed to be cool. You have no proof that I did this. I want to see if the plug's even in it, but I've been running around town for about an hour. For an hour. So far, no fuses have blown. And, oh. So I put the hand on the wrong side while I was driving. It's because it rolled all over the back of the truck. It wouldn't roll. Dude, if you get a big rubber mat in here, it won't work. You're right. I've got one of those, but this stupidly expensive shell leaks. It is cold. It still says 50. I'm done with it. One of the issues I found is this, if you just barely come to reach for anything and get anything out and reach for the handle, you're gonna turn it on and off. And you, I know what you may be thinking is, well, that wouldn't be the problem, dude, if you'll, uh, hang on, I'm trying to turn it off all the way. There it goes. It won't have power if you don't have it plugged up. Well, actually, yes, because you can get an external battery that goes right here. Just believe me, it goes under that for another price. I do have solar panels. I need to throw them on there and uh, see if the solar panels work. So I'm gonna vote it's pretty cool. <laughs> Kinda literally and figuratively. So let's go do something else. Have you put a camper shell on your Tacoma and thought, okay, everything's gonna be perfectly dry in here from now on for the rest of my life. But yet you still had water coming out of that corner and that corner. And you thought, how is this possible? This camper shell, this shell was $2,600, I think, installed. Now that's true. That's, I think I paid them 50 or $75 to sit it on there and make sure it was straight, make sure it didn't leak. And I thought, why is it still leaking? But if you're like me, I'm tired of hearing myself talk. So I'm going to tell you how to fix it. Right now, finally, after all these years, you take a 14 and you take these off. It's nothing but this, which clamps it on top, 14. You either know how to use a 14 or you don't. Then you take this star. I don't know what size it is because I don't have my glasses on. So you just gotta figure that part out all by your lonesome. If you're gonna attempt this, surely you know what I'm talking about. Then you take all these screws out. Cause what I did, mine was leaking here and was pulling up right there. And it's leaking here and it's pulling up right there. I run a bead of, it doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's waterproof, 
proof. I run a bead of pretty much gasket sealer, high heat gasket sealer right there. And when I sealed it real good here and here, thinking that was it, and then under there, because it leaked under that screw and that screw, then I noticed when I filled the corners, it was still pulling down out of here. And then I noticed the drops. So I decided, okay, I'll do the whole thing. I did the whole thing. And then it leaked in various spots where I didn't get it real good. So that, back to that. I slid my shell back and this simply flips down and stays there. All the only reason it stays is because I put silicone there. Let's look outside. I came back outside. Let me get out of the sun. And I flipped it over. And it's got water drops easier from the other side. Come with me now. Come back around here. I'm so tired of this. I want to like, anyway, you see the little various drops of water in there. There's one, there's three. Water was still getting under that thing, which sits up here, running under and going in the bed. I'm going to run a bead of silicone down through here and it will work. That is the only spot that's getting water in. If you're like me, you've got 50 tubes of old, old silicone and you're sick and tired of using them, so you already threw them away. Liquid nails, Lucas oil, we don't have what we need. So you go to cage number seven. Nothing in there. If you don't have a blue Ford Ranger, you may not be able to finish this project, but just stick with me, okay? And you go to Heflin Jacks and get some silicone, or our rallies, I mean, Jacks is a And you look for it. Grease, 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 grease. White lithium grease, 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 grease. Black on Mars. You take that and you go use it. Then you go to Jack's. Clean it real well, which is what I did. Take your little gunny gun gun. Put a bead. I let it sit for a little while to get a little tacky. I hope you can see that. If you can't, then you know what it's supposed to look like. But I don't want it to get solid and hard. Remember, this whole thing's gonna go down and slide over. Ooh, slide over top of the whole thing. But I don't want it to get hard rubber because then I won't be able to get my screws back in with a flip. So you put that. That's where you always put the silicone. Then you come back in and you take this and you sit it back up on top. This, 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 this. And then you just put your screws back in and slide your top back up where it goes. Done. What did I miss? I just, something just rolled off. Don't you love that game? Oh, screwdriver. We'll check it after the storm tomorrow. Oh, ho, ho. It always runs better when you fix something. I decided, instead of waiting for the rain, which is a week out now, to go ahead and go with the simulated storm process. You get rain from the top really heavy, and you get rain from the sides really heavy. So that's going to uh, give us full simulation of whether this thing leaks or not. Wet. The moment we've waited for. I can't see up in there. There's not a drop of water in either corner or running down the front up there, and that's where it was leaking. I did it. That water is where I just opened this thing. Ha! I win. Now that I washed it, got it all cleaned up, it's twice as fast. And back to the base cap. Let's double check. I don't want to climb it. Let's go like this. Okay, there. There is not a drop of water in that corner or that corner. There appears to be two or three rando drops in here, but they might have got blown through the side because when you go through the simulated storm, it blows water sideways, inside, outside, and upside down. So that's the fix. All the silly putty I put in there is nice and rubbery on both sides. Look at the runs on this ARE cap. If you ever decide to get a cap like this, do not get ARE. 
Look at the, the craftsmanship. I wanted to say a craftsman I didn't want to. But the paint runs in there real bad. And the front window clip, you see it on the bottom? Right ish there ish. Where they put the trim in. The trim all around the whole window. This is a whole nother review. I'm not getting paid for this either. I don't get paid for any reviews. Whoever put that piece of aluminum around that window, screwed the screws in so tight, it's caved in all the metal. The bottom piece of rubber doesn't even meet up and the thing's falling off the side. And to top it off, even topping it off, all these screws are screwed in too far and all the metal's bent. All the way around. The whole entire thing. To top it off, even a little more topped off, I don't know if you can see this, but look down through there. This whole thing looks like that. I can't see my screen. But if you look down the edge, this is not straight. It just goes zoom, 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 zoom. It even makes that sound. And if you look down this side and look up at it, it does the same thing. It goes zoom, 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 zoom. And it makes all kind of noise. So no, I'm not real thrilled about this ARE shell. But I am thrilled about my silicone job. I'm done talking. Thanks for watching my videos.